previously in Dorgan. After slaying Captain Gideon Richmond, the House of War made their daring escape from the living airship, the Irwintide, by boarding the Skynomad. What followed next was a dangerous aerial combat between the Imperial Allies on one side and the Omentide and its swarms of Grell on the other. Despite some setbacks during the fight, the House of War did their manage victorious and they arrived home in Sovakai, where they were handed a just reward for aiding the Dacronian Empire against its enemies. Soon after, Jason Dabry decided to interrogate the woman they rescued from the Omentide, the one-armed necromancer, Calabride. Initially, the duo had a hard time learning anything from the woman until Dabry cast Zone of Truth, which prevented Calabride from lying, and Jace topped it off by using a charm spell, encouraging her to actually talk. At this point, Calabride revealed her true self. She admitted that she had feigned insanity when the Hounds of War first met her, and what's more, that she was a student of a powerful man simply known as Seeker. Jace and Dabry both recalled this name, because they had heard it before. When they purged the ghost town of Evergale from ghouls, killing a necromancer named Edgar along the way, they found a letter signed by a seeker. The duo decided it was best meeting their enemy head on, and had Calabride send a magical message to Seeker. To their surprise, Seeker obliged, telling them that he would meet them at High Point Keep, the very same fortress where the Hounds of War had slain the tiefling necromancer, Javinia. However, when the Skynomad arrived, the Hounds of War saw another airship approaching them. It was a trading vessel named the Bold Venture. But unnervingly, the crew were zombies, and its captain was a white bearded dwarf in a heavy black armor. Once again, this was all familiar to Jason Davre, because they recognized the figure as Dockrell, the black at whom the Hounds of War had slain down in the necropolis of Mevelkin. And finally, the session ended with the two sides trading threats and insults with one another. And so, begins our session. So that was a great party. Yeah. <laughs> Currently you are right now uh, flying or hovering atop of the, the peak known as High Point. In the distance, about 200 feet or so, you can see the other airship, the Bull Venture. And uh, you can see this uh, gruff looking uh, white bearded dwarf, black armor, a barber helmet, you know, where the, the rings cover up under the eyes. And so we're getting kind of an evil vibe from him, right? Uh, you, 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 you also notice that he had some like blood smeared along his mouth, right? And st- Okay. I mean, could be well, at least he's not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> he is totally not a vampire. I had a snack. No. Uh, right. So, so, uh, uh, so, so, how many people are on this ship? Are they? Uh, are, is it like completely full, or is it more like a skeleton crew? <laughs> you will guess at this point. You can see about twelve hands on deck. <laughs> are they attached? Or are they just kind of <laughs> 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 yeah, just yeah, scuttling around. No, um, about twelve individuals. All, hand crew, all, all crew are zombies, correct? Yep. Do, Great. Do, how do we know this? In all uh, you can see various wounds that imply that they should not I, be able no, to. I meant move. more like, can we be 100% sure that every single crew member is a zombie? From, from what those all, you can yeah. see. All, all group see. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, 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 so. Again, you It's are, the current theory that we're working <laughs> But as you are trading these insults and Dogol is threatening that I want to go over there and kill you. Um, feathers, feathers. You all hear yeah. a voice inside your mind. Please, Dogwell. We did not come here to emit this hostility. We came here to parlay, did we not? Open fire. Kind of right? <laughs> and at this point, um, what's your passive perception? 14! <laughs> 12, 16! Minus 7. Uh, no, 18. No, wait, that's not true. This is quite high. Oh, they're not 16. Oh, uh, okay. Eller vent, er det uh, passive perception bare 10 plus din uh, ja, ja. perception? Så hvis jeg har hvis jeg er, uh, expertise. Ja. Hvis jeg er expertise i det, så, så er den også... Okay, then it's 19! Goddammit! I would oh, no. say all you above, uh, let's say, 14. Woo, not because, me! Because, Sorry, because not. it's dark and so I am 14 exactly. Yeah, well, then you will be able to know. Okay, that. well, what would it be? Is it above 14? 14 and above. Oh, okay. Um, so I was like, 14 and above 14. 
cat is pooping. Shit. <laughs> if you don't get to you see something, you notice uh, rising up from behind the rail of the airship, a figure, a rope figure, is uh, white and black with this golden motif, uh, and you re- uh, recognize this as uh, a priestial garb from the Church of Arkham. And j- just to be clear, because I'm picturing something huge in my mind rising up. No, it's, it's, it's just a human. Right, right. uh, me too. Um, just there's huge. a guy on the left. I, I was thinking it was that crazy thing we saw in the uh, oh, show. No, no, no. I was like, no, oh no. 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 Oh boy. <laughs> uh, but again, the, the Church of Arkham, uh, also known as the, the God of the Eternal Slumber, or God of Death. Two of you uh, recognize this figure. That will be Jace and Dabrick because they're the only ones. I don't see him. No. And so I only Jace at the Well, if you did, you'd recognize him. (laughs) It's been a while since you've last seen him. Uh, Last time was back in Melbourne when you saw him uh, in this uh, stasis, chronostasis. Uh, It's the Lich Ezekiel, who you (laughs) accidentally destroyed physical remains Uh, of when you tried to take him out of the the necropolis and whose stalactite was stolen by a man who you had seen along with Dobro at that point. It was also by a dude. Oh my god, I just can't remember this. It was all your fault. <laughs> so I still can't see it. See we had the best intentions. <laughs> skeletal figure in a beautiful uh, rope, rise up and flip and then hovers in uh, on top of the deck, just a couple of maybe centimeters above the deck, hovering slowly. Yeah. Do I see him now? At this point, I recognize you! <laughs> And as he speaks, his mouth doesn't move, it's just telepathically. How far are we away from the. Uh... Uh, how far close you want to be? Again, you're on the deck. 70,000. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything between the side of the 5 to. Well, In 50. Space. So he's on our ship? Yeah. Okay. Oh shit, he's on See? our ship! Yeah. And he's talking to. Us. Dogwill. Yeah, again, he, no, he's, us. he's talking to everyone, but yeah. you can hear him. Um, so Whoa, can you guys hear that? <laughs> Who's that guy? I am CK. Oh! I you can write this down. <laughs> I do pardon uh, that I could not be here in person, but I hope you will allow this comfort. What's his name, Ezekiel? Yeah, Ezekiel was the yeah. lich. Cool. Ezekiel? Uh, Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, that's no. why uh, he, he's just mentioned that oh. Ezekiel is essentially just a conduct for his voice. He's not the man or woman named Seeker is not present. Oh, so he's just called a Seeker. Oh, so he's, he's, he's speaking through a puppet. Okay. Yes, uh, Ezekiel serves as, uh, as a tool for now. Oh, okay. Ooh, well, so, right, so have we've met Ezekiel, we've not met Seeker. No. no, you're not. Uh, okay, And cool. Ezekiel, you haven't actually heard his voice because he was frozen in time. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was. <laughs> and then he Dust. was frozen. Yeah, exactly. And into um, into the powder. Sparks proudest moment. Before we continue our conversation, I would just like to ensure that Calibrite is well and safe, if you do not mind. She is uh, unharmed by my honor. And we're on a smaller ship. Are we on, are we on the... Uh, you're on the Skyrim. Skyrim. We're on the Skyrim. Oh. And what are the other guys on? Uh, they are on a, a trading vessel called the Bold Venture. Okay. Right. So I'm sorry, just... Um, hi, it's me. Um, <laughs> yours. Um, just a quick, quick question. Who are you? I am Seeker. No, yeah, okay, but no, not... But like, what are you? What, does that matter to you? Well, it matters because you're on a ship and you're asking to see a prisoner. Yeah, seems like a fair question. That we rescued. That we rescue with our own... Technically not a prisoner, yes. but... Prisoner. Kind of. What do you want to know, exactly? Well, just kind of what what sort of your which motivational is, arc... No. What, what is... <laughs> what, 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 yeah, what is it? What is it? I mean, you, you, you're... What is it you see? What is it you seek? Yeah. You're called the seeker. What is it you that seek? Fleshing I think you've told us, but I can't remember. <laughs> well, I seek I the ultimate truth. You might have a question. Life death. <laughs> okay. And That's how, kind of deep. And how does um, one do that? Uh, the necromancer, Calibrite. How does she help you with, in that? How oh, she you? was a student of mine. I see. Are you yourself a necromancer? He's a lich. 
I do no, not know the answer. That is correct. Okay. But, yeah. Yes, no, you're the one in the road. Right. Another question. Uh, see, we, Any we, questions? We, uh, well, you know, forgive us, but I it's my own. We found Calibride on this uh, on the, the Omen Tide. Uh, had, uh, haven't been uh, she she'd been captured there, right? She was captured, yeah, imprisoned. And, uh, yes, and we. So, where does that mean you stand in this whole war business? Oh, we're jumping already onto that point. Oh, oh, oh. What? The war uh, we're in. Big yes, but this hasn't got anything to do with the war. She was the prisoner. Oh. Yeah, well, okay. It might happen at some point. I would, I would be happy to divulge further, but before any more can be said, I would like to ensure that Calibrite is alive. Okay. What is like, my hmm. ex- feeling about Calibrite? Like, you said that's been time interrogating her, him, her, 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 uh, her. Yeah. Good, bad, ugly. It's hard to say because you don't know her like, on a personal level, you don't know hmm. what she has done and how she has acted. And um, she's a bit like uh, Captain Rayleigh in that, or Riley in that she's like outspoken in that, well, fuck you, essentially, the sort of person she would say if she doesn't like you. In um, fairness, she did tell us she tried into a trap. <laughs> yeah, and she that tried to lie to you. Mm. But that thing you can make. Uh, she she seemed to be um, a complicated person. Mm. You know, when you're showing the team, you're and oh, again, necromancy is not per se evil. In no, but keep most people out. that don't with yeah. necromancy tend not Super to be at a good side. Yeah, example. that's but I'm, 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 I'm trying to be one of those progressive. Yeah, it was just um, I thought, it takes a minute. Well, I mean, so my sense <laughs> what I'm getting is that she is dangerous for sure if you are. Opposed to her. Well, uh, her motivations might not line up with, like classic, like what we like the war, for example. Again, you don't even know if she knows about the war. Actually, okay. she was she was captured. And the war broke out for so what, um, half a month ago at this point, and she has been on board all time longer than that. Mm. Listen, I'll um, I'm going to, uh, I'll I'll go get get Calibrite up here so you can just kind of have a quick word with her just be just just tell me um, when you last saw Calibrite how many limbs did she have? <laughs> limbs? yeah sort of the, the standard four or, she's or missing an more or le- okay well thanks for that <laughs> no 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 when we found her I, I, she I, I was gnawing on five, an arm I wanted to spend five minutes doing <laughs> that doesn't sound like the Calibrite I knew Mm. I think something may have happened on board the omen tide. I think probably someone chopped her arm off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and live. <laughs> so she I'm gonna go. One, I'm right? just gonna put the side. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go down and, and get her. Right. Do I go with you? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I go. I go with her. I, I think I can. Okay. Okay. Uh, at this point, there uh, are two guards stationed outside her room. Okay. I would say probably uh, Velma and uh, and Definitely. the first mate. Okay. Uh, I, I say, I introduce myself to both of my hello, I am Eos, your boss. Very nice to meet you, shake hands, because obviously it's, it's very important. Been a while. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Hi, Shelby. Hi, Wilma. We need uh, access to Calibrite. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know why, we're just, just go in. Yeah. <laughs> why are we asking? Okay. Would I told Calibrite, you. your boss is here. Well, Seeker is here. You're not there. <laughs> I suspected as much. Okay. He wishes to see you. Yeah, do you want to come and say hi? Entirely keen on the notion, but sure. It's my fault. I framed it as a question. It wasn't. Let's go. <laughs> and she Okay, go, go. <laughs> and it, it, this is weird form of shackle because you cannot shackle in the typical sense. Right. Of the so it's essentially like her arm is forced in Mm-mm, position. Not shackled. We take the shackles off. <laughs> yeah, and then we give her, put her, <laughs> give her a bit of makeup. <laughs> we kind of spruce her up a bit. And you take so off the glasses. Take off her glasses. <laughs> are, we, are, we, are we certain we don't want to? Shackle the magic user slash necromancer slash. Oh, you have been with the magic. We yet so. Well, we're bringing up unshackled. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, and and she appears, and when she looks at the seat, you can see she's confused. She clearly did not expect this this thing. Here is our honored guest, Calibrite the necromancer. It's good to see you, Calibrite. And he's about to probably say well. But stops because well, she is missing an arm. Um, can I insight check her reaction to seeing him? Yeah, sure. Ooh, ooh, well, that, ooh. Is, that is hot. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 16. <laughs> okay, you had nothing. She seems to be on alert, essentially. Okay. No, it's strange. It's, 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 how could I describe it? It's essentially like seems a, a snake handler. Like they know that uh, there is this sense of danger below that they are perfectly aware of, but it's not like they are afraid to save their life in that instance. They're just afraid of what might happen. Okay, um, in response to um, seeing her reaction, I just keep my hand close to my weapons. Yeah. I am focused on uh, this on, on Seeker, uh, yeah. trying to see if I can s- if I can g- get a, an idea of the, the true nature of this, this Seeker. Well, yeah, from, from it's essentially like the of the... Um, it, yeah, essentially... Yeah. Is because she's she's able to move Ezekiel in in a way. She she's Ezekiel is essentially a puppy right now. I don't know why I think she. Uh, uh, so why you'd say puppy? Puppy. Yeah. <laughs> puppy. Ah, move it like a puppet. She's a, Maybe, just a puppy. Um, just a puppy. Again, just it could be anything from a puppet to a, 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 a mind control. Do you know uh, what I mean? But yeah, yeah. yeah. So are we good? And, uh, you can see, Kyle looks at Ezekiel and says, "I did not expect you to." Undergo such transformation. And uh, Seeker reveals no more that this is not my true self. I am merely born. Duh. The Seeker here. Um, um, Calibri looks to watch him. Is this all? There's a quick question uh, out, of, out of game. How close is Dog Roll and his ship at this point? Uh, about 200 feet still. And is he, is he just moving towards us? No, he's. As soon as, as soon as uh, Siegel uh, starts speaking, uh, the, the ship starts oh, okay. just hovering. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Falling. Um, it's like a talk about this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess, Calabrine, I guess that, that this is all. Sorry for disappointing. Isn't, do you want to just take her? Or just want to kind of get out of here with her? And you, you, she whispers to you and says, I'm not getting her all with her. I'm not leaving this. Mm-hmm. It just it just it just seems like that maybe he's um he's very powerful and he's and is clearly mind controlling a, a lich and also been talking to everybody's brains so it might be completely out of our control. Sorry, bye. Um, <laughs> so Sika, um what can you can you just maybe explain to us what's going on here and and, and also what's your connection to dog dog roll? Dog roll. Dog roll. I'm, I'm asking in character dog roll. Yo. I haven't met him, you see. Well, uh, Dr. Will uh, is also a student of mine. Oh, I see. So this is sort of a reunion for all of you. Are you guys yes, fighting? Yes, Blake. So this is the, uh, that's the lich that previous incarnations have had for, uh, saved from the crypt, right? Oh, is yeah. this the lich? Well, yes. Uh, well, saved is a... Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So... What's your connection to Ezekiel then? Why is he here? He was because he was nowhere ne- where near where Dogroll was, right? No. Well, he, well, Dogroll was one of the people trying to steal yeah, Ezekiel's phylactery. Yeah, so probably when they stole it, this is this is out of character because yeah. I wouldn't know this. I assume that when they stole it, they would have taken the phylactery with them, regrown the lich oh. somewhere because that's how liches work. I think were. perhaps I think that this black guard is a different black guard we've met. It is. No, 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 no. And I have also met for I was not to heal the whole thing. I think that we have met a black guy much earlier than we also slew him. But I can't remember. No, he he fled, and uh, also yeah, yeah, exactly. oh, okay, 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 so that's Dogroll. So, so Espen had met this guy, yeah, but exactly. we, we, right. we also met Dogroll twice. Yeah. Mm, okay. Before, before we killed him. Okay. 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 Yes. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how liches work, really. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right, the first time we met Dog Roll, there's another character, first time they met Dog, Dog Roll, um, it was, they met him in the tower that we were going with, that we're at right yeah. now, and where he was in the company of the first necromancer, yeah. Javinia, who we then killed, but Dog Roll survived right, and escaped. Right, right. And we met him again, killed him. But I talked to that Espen fella, yeah, 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 he yeah, told yeah, me about yeah, this. Classic, yeah. classic, classic. I have a very keen mind. <laughs> So okay, so like okay, well that's that's great news for all of you, and really in no way related to us or our business. Jeez, I think we're here for you, but I can't remember why. <laughs> Talk to him. Do you guys know? Jason. Jason. Questions. 
Well, hope that I pass most. Where'd you stand on the war front? <laughs> on the war front, the, well, you know, the Western Front. <laughs> On this subject, approximately a year ago or so, I was approached by an envoy from Caracas. They told me that they wanted to start what well, essentially a wide spanning invasion. Quick question, who's speaking now? That's the Seeker. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Oh, right, that's the Seeker. Well, that's Seeker. Yeah, yeah. 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 The Seeker's not doing that. Yeah. Exactly. He's just yeah. a, yeah. a, a speaker, a boom speaker at this point. Cool. I was brought by this envoy, and they told me that they wanted my help in the, the war effort. Apparently the plan was to have the various nations of Novenia uh, travel all the way to Landford. So essentially, the last continent travel down to oh, Lanford. Okay, yeah, yeah. And while most of the forces have left, I was to raise an army of undead and sweep across the nation. Meaning, mm. when they were weak. So even if they would win the war, they would only return home to ruins. I declined this offer. Uh I am not interested. Especially since I know who's pulling the strings. Who is? Is that the dragon we've heard so much about? Uh Who won? The master of puppets, you know, pulling the strings. No, no. The the Gilrath, I think. Yeah. The who? Gilrath. I've also heard he's indoctrinated in this war. No, no. It's something far more sinister, I believe. Is it perhaps something to do with the Shadowfell? No, per se. I have some interest. It's one of the reasons why I decided to recruit Ezekiel. I have heard of your exploits in this plane. Yes. Ordinarily, mortals are not able to travel away from the material plane and back again. So I had to be creative in order to accomplish the same. As you know, a lich's body is not tied to a soul. Meaning that well, if the body is destroyed, it will return home to its factory. Mm-hmm. Where is home for you? Again, if the, the, if the lich would smile, it probably would. Um, but it's, it's said that's just this pause. Uh, okay, that's all right. Then who's the lich? So truth. Okay, just so truth. From now, I do not trust you enough to tell such things. Okay, I do apologize for my apprehension. You still did not answer who was pulling the strings in these walls. No, it's the far sinister. Let's get you. I'm going right. to answer your question with a question. Oh, God. When did the hobgoblins last march for war? I have A thousand years ago. Mm. 1962. Okay, again, Hexwall, 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 Hexwall. Yeah, exactly. This, this is common in knowledge of all oh. people in. Uh, Fuck you, Hexwall! <laughs> Hex War, exactly, where they march under the banner of the Witch Queen. At this point, Jace, you like, you can probably, because they were talking about Shadowfell, mm? but you actually had uh, a vision at this point. Oh. Uh, I know this bit a long ago, so that's why I'm refreshing. Okay. Uh, in this, uh, at this time, you had this vision along with uh, Finian and Brumbling. Yeah. Well, you essentially okay. saw the making of the Witch Queen. You saw a woman marrying the king of Novenia. You saw her poison her, him and thinking that, well, she was sad by the fact, but instead, rather, she was getting ready to rule a nation in tyranny. I feel like I have information about this. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, are you telling us that the Witch Queen, queen is back? back. Now, a lot of stories regarding her defeat, but none of the death. Is that not true? Well, Probably yes. Yeah. <laughs> As I am trained in history, I would have say in. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Well. So. And then you are curious. I've. I mean, investigated your exploits. Oh, okay, more. that way, curious. I've heard you have travelled to Briarwald, the nation Shame where by curious. the Witch Queen <laughs> fell. And was fine well, over. Oh, yeah, they've been all over this fucking yeah. place. <laughs> but uh, a, big a place that's lost and forgotten and not something that you could travel back and forth and yet you still have. Is that you the uh, uh, Yeah, that's the, the, the very first session where you went to you, oh, you guys went to <laughs> yeah. Briarwald? Yeah, very shortly. It was a, quite the trip. You never Amazing. Us, you never told us that. Yes. Really, you should talk more to him. He has a lot of stories. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I have so many. Do you guys want to seize the souvenirs? <laughs> <laughs> and that was why I got this prison tat. <laughs> cautious. 
There's a wolf skin. Cautious of what? Well, it's water resistant. It would have been impossible to do what you accomplished. It seems that the bond between, well, the mist of the outer rim has weakened. I believe Jay's told me they had a very fast boat. <laughs> yes. That's also mm-hmm. true. Yes. Big old boat. Speed boat. But well, actually, we didn't do anything. I mean, we did row it, it, very it, fast. It, it, it was those guys who had the boat. I mean, we didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. <laughs> no, 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 but I mean, even our characters back then did. We blew a horn and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. Um, okay. So, well. another question. Yes. I mean... Um, um, I'm glad you don't, you're not here to fight or anything, but no, 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 I, no, I, I must I must tell you you're sort of you're sort of piloting a stolen lich here. I mean, from what I wouldn't they want that lich back? Yeah, I mean, well, well, of course. Yeah. Uh, this is not a permanent solution. This is just <laughs> I I needed the tools to accomplish my goals. I do apologize to me that I've mm. done so. Stealing is bad. Very bad, indeed. Right. What is your purpose here, though? Well, uh, I was summoned here by the two of them. Oh. And he points towards uh, Davry and Jace. Oh. You know, I knew that. <laughs> Davry and Jace. So you guys want to Again with you summoning stuff. It's bad. You should never do it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Ray Frost. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right, so are you going to leave the lich here, or yeah. at least the flag tree? Not yet. Yes. I'm, I'm, st- I'm still coming from whatever drugs I took ah, okay. at the end of the previous session. But I believe that maybe we can form an alliance of some. Show on. Sure. I'm a decent fellow. That sounds right. in accordance with so, the non-lethal root I'm on, so yes. <laughs> I might be able to provide you useful information after all. I am a seeker of truth. And in return, I hope that you can aid me in the decent goal. Which is? Well, I have some interesting, um, what, what would you call them in common? The Earth Pillars, I believe. Uh, history check? Yeah, so history check about it. Nope. Is it yeah, you? not a natural 20. Again, it's, again, it's probably during your, uh, your studies of Ovaros and the Gauss and so forth. You do uh, remember the name, of oh, uh, the term Earth Pillars, one of which is the one in Toothstrike. This large indestructible tower. Oh shit, yeah, right. <laughs> you also encountered, I cannot re- recall which one, there was a belief in Dragon King's Rest or something, or one of the cities you have been in previously. Uh, what, what role do these earth pillars serve? Well, that is what I'm investigating. No, sort of there. I thought they, hold, uh, I thought they held yes, the yeah, like, like, Yeah, I heard an alternate universe where they used a guy named Atlas for the same thing. No, 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 no. no. What they do is essentially they, they're, the, they're the, essentially the thing that attaches the earth to the sky. Hmm. So that's why that's why we're not just falling into into, into the sea. Hmm. No, isn't it the, 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 the four elephants? Four elephants? Yeah, they're on the back of the giant turtle. Yeah, they all do mm. shit, by the way. <laughs> 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 what interest do you have in these earth pillars? Well, I want to know their origins. I want to know more the about earth, them. I guess. So the fact that they're destructible, and it's somehow the one in the two spy <laughs> has been carved out. No. That's true, you shouldn't really be able to carve it in things that are indestructible. Big knife, maybe? Um, and you want our help figuring this out? To no, just investigate? I, I, I just want your permission to allow me to travel to Toothspire. I know that you have some relations with uh, the people there. What's in Toothspire? Mm-hmm. Is that where Esther lives? No, it's oh, in, in this before you joined the Okay, council. cool. But um, I mean, yes, yes, yes that we do have some the, what relations the, do we have in the, the, What's it called? Them, we help in the process them. of your studying, yeah. oh, yes. what? in the process of your stu- uh, or in, in oh. when you study, yes, how will you affect the oh, area? Oh, okay. in no means. Uh, I had a, a student here named Davina, uh, whose eagerness I did not anticipate. But she tried to well, besiege the town, prior to my knowledge. That's why I'm asking for permission. Because I do not want to repeat the errors of my students. Mm-hmm. So... We are very dangerous. You are willing to give your word that no harm will come to anyone? Of course. On my honor. I'm good. 
I'm cool with that. It does. Also, does. Not have to go if join me there because that's good. Of course, if it's a zombie dwarf. You vampire <laughs> dwarf. Disclose any information you get to us. Huh? Wouldn't know about the Oh, okay, sure. Get something. Get something. My hunger for the knowledge of the pillars. Are we? Uh, I mean, so, uh, not if you call Dogrill off our backs, I have no idea what's happening, but yeah. I can yeah. see the trouble. Yeah. yeah. Gaining information. Because yeah. we are here for Dogrill, right? No. No? No, Dogrill arrived without you. Yeah, yeah. Why are we here? You were here why to meet the Seeker. Uh, no, sorry, Seeker. We yeah. were? Oh. This was our. Go- it's we did! <laughs> 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 it's, it's because he, had a, he has a backstory. Thing with an arch fade that has. Yeah. But actually, I think this is unrelated to that. Yeah, that's I, don't, I, don't, I think it has no relation to yeah. that. Oh, well, this is a, yeah, yeah. He just he just did the main lifting work for actually yeah. figuring out mm. how to get here and what was the fuck was happening. As I mentioned, I have investigated all of you. So if you have a lot of questions, yes. Yes. It's like we're curious it's like, beings. It's like, what can I say? I'm telling you, I pay all my taxes from that shop. <laughs> 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 Bar. It's I bar. have it's done nothing wrong in ever in my life. <laughs> Everything I do is about board. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Are you okay? Do you get something in your yeah. Yeah. No. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. A bad taste. Uh, no, I think we're good. Cool. Questions. The Mandy twins. I I learned of a name recently. I find that it might be useful. Does the name Yago mean anything to you? Yes. Well, uh, recently I've heard that he and his crew has caused some trouble in Malthor. Isn't wait? Isn't Yago dead? Do, do we think Yago oh, dead? Yeah, pretty much. So just, like, I, don't have, I don't have a fact. To <laughs> <laughs> so just like just what the fuck? Really <laughs> <laughs> well, you guess he's as dead as a person stabbed with daggers in both his eyes would be dead. Okay. Doesn't like that. Like <laughs> they call uh, him Dar- no. Yago Dagger. I know. <laughs> see, guys. Can't see shit. You have to be mistaken. We killed him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we killed him good. Uh, I believe you did the same with Dogpool over there. Yeah. Well, Don't care yeah. about that no, no, guy. Well, we didn't Speaking kill Dogpool. Which... We're yeah. the Monby twins. <clears throat> we killed Yago. And when we kill people, they usually mostly stay uh, dead. Well, no, okay, no, I see. <laughs> okay, well, that's unfortunate. Um, where's, where's he hanging out? The uh, last I heard of his explosives were back in Malta Rock. Oh, he's back home. Indeed. Ooh, Apparently he's trying to pushing out the, pills, the, the alley drifters and the dust grants. Fucker. Oh, the dust grants. Really? Fucker. Um, yeah, they actually do. And it seems he's, well, somehow involved with the nation of Caracas or something. Probably providing weapons, intel, something along that. That is, um... That's bad news. It's generally considered bad news, right? Um, are you okay? I just thought you should. We'll talk about this later. Mm-hmm. Um, well, thank you for telling us. I guess that's something we're going to have to look into now. Mm-hmm. But we killed him so good, though! <laughs> no, that I don't know. Right. So, should we go? Is, is that all you want to know? Surely, you, see, where are they you seem and so salty. <laughs> 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 right, so. Sorry. We never really. Well, then, I mean, how's, how's the shop doing? Hey, what? An inside check. Oh, I'm good at those. Is that too much? Yeah, uh, both twins. <laughs> but I am proficient. So it's uh, eight. Five. Uh, fifteen. You get a sense that he's like basically like a token. He's just playing a hand to see how you react to it. Mm-hmm. As if he's strutting you. And it seems that he's eager to learn more about each of you. I assume I didn't get that with my eight. No, you're, you're, you're this guy's fine. Yeah, you're still just... Kill him. Fucking shot. Kill him. so good. Win. Okay. <laughs> um... Because you, are, you have met these unsavory characters before. That's yeah. Why I'm you for well, I guess there's no reason to go back to Old Troll then. You don't want to finish the job? No oh. reason to go back. No, you're right, sorry. Right, so, so apparently we, we have like a, a, we have a, 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 a. I mean, I'm assuming you are not just a, a normal run of the mill person. We uh, we essentially have like have a walking dictionary of of, of our um, past exploits. Yes, any of you want to ask anything? Apparently, no, you know stuff about. I've, 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 I've I I I I keep a pretty interest. detailed journal. So yeah, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've read them all. They're pretty good. Yeah. Real salty. Do you know what's going on in Caligrove? Yeah, actually, I'm interested in that as well. It seems mysterious. It does. I did, however, encounter some notes that mention uh, what was it they were called again? Uh, the Burning Mace. They might be involved somehow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I believe you could try to well, find them somewhere by finding the recruiter, a man named Delgas Form. He's a Runedale or Rubydale, some of those two cities. That's a good name. What cities? Uh, Runedale, I believe he was last. Or maybe Rubydale. Gates, you, you uh, recognize <laughs> this really? uh, name? Yep. As the same uh, person that the two burning mace uh, people you met in the forest during the journey. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Did oh, we yeah. kill them? Wait, no, no, no. rather did. No, you no, just. No, they, 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 just, they just talked. No one stays okay, cool. dead anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if anything well, these fuckers Guys, how come about back we finish and finish fucking yeah. Android? I <laughs> had it with these motherfucking yeah. necromancers. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't uh, motherfucking uh, sky shit. I think I should agree with uh, Aurora. What? It Wrap oh. things up and get out of here. Yeah, yeah no, we're good. No, we did for the days and uh, Back when we had that vision, uh, yeah. w- was I the only one who had the vision about the uh, witch queen, or did we all share that vision? Yeah, it was. It, 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 it's a bit <laughs> weird. It was like you experienced like a, a different scene, each of you, oh. and then you just your mind melted essentially. So you all shared. <laughs> and, but I believe you're the only one here. Yeah, yeah. who was part of the mind melt. Okay, so yeah. you're the only keeper of knowledge at the moment. Yeah. Oh, it's the so. ghost of Brandy. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, yes, it is I'm me, dead, Brandy. I'm dead, but I've retained all of my magical powers. Wait, Brandy's dead? <laughs> Brandy's no, magical I powers? I assume. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he is, well, we don't know. His powers are fingering potions. Right. <laughs> so, uh, where were we here? That was Bob. <laughs> Bob? Bob. <laughs> oh, that's your friend. <laughs> yes, a friend. <laughs> just a friend of the series. Apparently, there were some visitors uh, from the Crow Steels after they left. Yep. Those were the uh, the people who. Yeah, they yeah, said yeah, yeah, they're right. dwarven uh, uh, yeah. criminals. Um, but they are no more. It's just. Oh, that's good. about right. <laughs> that's good. They have been the old strategical sneak pit. <laughs> <laughs> or the snits. Yes. <laughs> Go snake bit. Yeah. Also, I can't remember how, uh, how talented he is with necromancy. He gave it away. <laughs> Who? Wait, Bob? Bob the necromancer? Bob the necromancer? Not Bob. <laughs> Wait, he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Dan. Yeah, that's, that's more like it. <laughs> he, she, Barb. <laughs> right. um, oh, Barb. How do we contact you? Well, uh. Oh, cool. She, she's staying with us? You don't want her back? I don't think she wants you to back. Want to go Let's just not say we did not um, leave on ample terms. Oh, I would not have guessed that. Okay, good. <laughs> well, if everyone's finished, how yeah, about... Oh, of course, you're welcome to tell her she's more than welcome to rejoin me again if she wants. Well, I'm sure you can tell her she's right here. No, she's left. <laughs> she left? Yeah, yeah. she went in fact. I'm going to go back down. Again. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you need notes for, for what's going on right now as well? <laughs> okay, are we finished? I think so. Th- yeah. Thank you so much for your help, Simon. Yeah, yeah, have fun with the Earth no. Pillar thing. We'll uh, catch on. Get back to us when you get any information. They're all right. Any information on. Any, inf- <laughs> any information on the Earth Pillars? Really? Because yes. No, we're not more interested in the whole. Okay. At all. Uh, the whole witch. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps we'll 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 contact you, and then we'll you know you can kind of fill us in on what you learn. Oh, actually, uh, yes. before you leave, this here thing that you're doing with the sequel. How uh, how far far of a reach does that add? Well, it's a position of seven feet. Is there a big old curtain? He's riding under the road. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's just, he's just immediately inside the skeleton. <laughs> I have an idea. If it's okay with you, um, Blake. Yep. Maybe maybe we give him the sending stone. 
think perhaps he's too down, and that's why I was asking because if we're, if he's within range of the sending stone. Oh, how far is the range of the sending stone? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't remember. <laughs> I'll, 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 like at least. 20 feet. I thought it was, I mean, I it's, 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 not, it's not actually that far. Oh, I thought it was the same plane stuff. I don't think that's the same plane. Oh, it's that same plane? I imagine that it might be. You just use most of the time. Range about 30 feet. Oh, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh, not magical sending stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> range about 30 feet, even to get some attention. What's the range of another magical sending stuff? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you're just you're just so casting the sending spell with it. Hmm. Whoa. Uh, hey, what was the limit to twenty-five? Just because it's kind of one of the yeah, but it's not. Stable fire supply. You can invent easily as well. But then there's <laughs> but there's no limit to how many times you can well, cast it. Oh yes, yes. and I um, yeah. Okay, so you you actually still communicating in bits of sure. Yeah, and then each you have, but then you have to do the whole thing again. So yeah, but 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 then I would say that would not be beep, beep, beep. Beep. right. So uh, just give her this, your sending stone. Then. I'm just giving me a second. I'm just going to check that sending is uh, same plane. I'm pretty sure it is. Right, he's just checking his books. Yeah, I'm just checking my books. Books. I'm checking my books. Trying, seeming sending, <laughs> recognizing matches of Cyrus on the same. Yeah, 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 same. Damn. So just so how did you just have to know the person you're sending it to? A, oh, actually, you can send the message across any distance and even to other planes of existence. But if the target is on a different plane than you, there is a five percent chance that the message doesn't arrive. Mm. Okay. Right. So you just throw all your sending stone, and then, yeah, yeah. then you can just <coughs> send us up, stone us up. And it basically, it makes it with main chain just makes it look interesting. Okay. So, it's skeletal grip. There you go. So, you just, you, you can have, you can contact uh, Blake at yeah. any time. <laughs> I might just like. do that. Cool. Are we finished? It's a, it's a direct line. Well, uh, I think I'll take think my life then. Okay. Right. That's good. Um, and Dogger won't be a problem. No, no, no. You won't be governed. Good. Oh. So, do you think, so will we still have to fight it? Oh, no, no, I'll send him off. Oh, okay. That's Thank good. you. Do we want to land when we send him off? <laughs> I mean, I mean I, I'm just assuming that if he becomes trouble again, we'll, we're going to have to kill him. I'm so. I guess my I guess my point is that right now, Dogro is an undead dwarf with a crew f- on, a sh- on a flying ship full of zombies. Okay. There's, yeah, yeah, sure, but like, do we think he's going to go off and do charity work? I think he's. I think he. Leading a city up I think north. he's. He's. Yeah. Uh, Maybe from not. What, what Ispens told me, the, 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 <laughs> the whole this this place has a weird thing about undead. They're actually sort of noise. Okay. I'm just okay. Fine. This is a this is a while ago, sort of in the sense that it was a minute ago. But he did say that he was going to kill us really gruesomely. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, seeker. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm just. I mean, you're taking Dog Rule away, away this time, that's fine. But I think we should... He said sh- he would send him off, not to bring him with him. He's on the ship, though. Was this dude on the ship? Was yeah. Seeker on the ship? He's on our ship. Yeah, he's he, on our... he levitated oh, over, yeah. I thought he should have just showed up. No, I think he levitated mm. from the ship. But I didn't see Right, what, uh, the thing is, I mean... Dog Rule have made some threats. Yeah, and I'm just saying, and like, it's cool that you take him away and all that, but uh, if he comes back again, I think we're like gonna have to kill him. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, <laughs> uh, and, and he doesn't respond, not the least words, he seems to make some finger gesturing. And at this point, you look up in the sky, you see these red spots start to form, and you hear it just, yeah, as you see these meteors just fall oh. down onto the ship, and you just. Wait, oh, which ship? Basically, you guys. Yeah. The Bolt oh, Ninja. Okay. Oh, the Bolt Ninja. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. well, it's been well, guys, right. it's been a blast. So, <laughs> I'm beginning to feel to understand why the Necromancer don't really want to come with you. <laughs> if this is how you treat your employees. <laughs> but I mean, how about I was, you? I was, I was, I was going to be honest, so we yeah. might have let him go because. No. Yeah, to be fair, if we wanted to kill everyone who made death threats against us. Yeah, that's true. We'd have a true. lot of truth to. You'd have to kill each other now. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Now we won't be a problem. Correct? That is probably true. <coughs> that yep. works. Right, so Thank what are we saying? Let's, uh, let's move it. Yes. 
Let's uh, assume he's totally dead and not wanting for revenge or anything. Alright, come stand, you seeker. Uh, I wish you could show you Catch you on the flip side. Catch you on the stone if there's anything. Please. And he just jumped off. Yeah. No, he starts to float off. Caps. Okay. And you see, he actually cast a polymorph spell on his But it's, it's like awkward. What does he turn into? And just an average human man. <laughs> and then just threw oh, Cap away. <laughs> 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 no, because clearly he wants to. The lich polymorphs. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then just fly. I off. didn't think you could fly. Fly, 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 fly. I think yeah. he's special and special. Okay, okay, okay. He can probably. I mean, like, okay. no, 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 worries. Worries. no, no. If, if he has, if he has the magical power to use meteor swap, he also has the magical power oh. to cast true polymorphs. Mm. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. He's essentially okay. a god. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's pretty high level. Yeah. Um. Cool. CR twenty one, motherfucker. <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah. Where are we going? Thanks for listening. The intro music was by Philip Fisher, whereas the outro music was by Martin Kerr. The other pieces which are mentioned in the description down below were by Kevin McLeod and Enda Kenye. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again in Dorokin. <laughs>